to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be pouring a second tray. Um, I did not film the first one, daggone it. I wish I had, but it was just a practice. I got this idea from Anna Cohen. If you are not following Anna Cohen, please go to her channel. She makes these beautiful, beautiful trays, serving trays, um, by doing a flip cup and resining on top. I'll show you my first one. I'm so excited. I think it turned out beautiful. Um, sorry about the ring light, guys. Nothing I can do about that one. Um, but I did gold leafing. It's still just probably okay to touch, but I'm scared. I, I poured the resin last night, so I just don't want to touch it. But, oh, it's so pretty. I just think it's so cool to do a piece that's actually functional. So these are going to be Christmas presents. Um, I'll tell you about my colors real quick. So tonight I'm just using three colors, um, and I, I mixed everything with mix pouring medium um i will put down in the description how you can get yours you just email sweet krista she's so sweet and so good i just ordered three more bottles this morning and she said they're shipping out tomorrow so this is amazing stuff and when i say that it's so thick um one of my colors is folk art um sky blue and normally to mix up a cup this is a nine ounce cup, so there's probably about seven and a half, maybe eight ounces in here. Probably you would normally use th this whole two ounce bottle. I literally only used maybe, maybe half of it. Um, and then probably, I don't know, maybe two ounces of mix and the rest is water. And it still has a, you know, a pretty fluid consistency, but I'm still getting a little, little tiny quick mound. So this is going to be a flip cup on these trays. So I, you know, I want my, my paints to be fairly thin. Um, and then my next cup or color is um, Golden's Iridescent Silver Fine. Oh, so beautiful. And of course that took like one squirt, one squirt of paint. So you really save a lot in paint when you use the mix pouring medium. Um, and then my final color is golden pearl iridescent. So these three colors I'm hoping are going to make for a beautiful, beautiful tray. So let me get my cup. Um, and again, I'm talking to you guys from across the room. Um, all credit to these goes to Anna Cohen. I am completely copying her trays. She's the um, pro at this. I've poured probably a total of four trays. I'm only happy with the one. <laughs> so um, the cool thing is you can pour over because I Anna has been so instrumental in helping me through this process because I said, what if you pour your paint and you hate it? You know, it's not like a canvas you can just scrape off. And she said, the good thing is you can pour over it. So you have probably a quarter of an inch lip right here. Um, so you, you wouldn't want to keep pouring that it goes over that. But sometimes you let you pour. If you don't like it right away, play with it a little bit, walk away and come back. And the next day you may see it with new eyes and decide you like it. So, all right, I'm going to get started. So this video isn't quite so long. Um, like I said, we're going to do a flip cup, but I am still going to layer my cups a little bit. I don't mind if they run together. I'm okay with that. Um, and then this is a nine ounce cup and, um, I just fill it about three fourths of the way full. These are 16 inch, um, trays. I get them off of Amazon. They're... A different price every time I order them. <laughs> um, the first time I ordered them, they were $31. Then they went up to $39. Um, then right now, I think they're about $37. So I want a lot of white in this. Um, so we'll see how this goes. All right. Put 
one more white or pearl. Sorry, not white. But. All right. So I'll show you my cup. Where is my cup? Oh, these colors are beautiful. All right. So I'm going to take my tray, set it on top of my cup, hold the bottom of the tray, and we're going to flip cup and tray over all together. I'm going to let it sit there for just a minute and let those paints have a little dance in there together. Drum the bottom a little bit. Move my paints out of the way. I get so excited and so nervous all at the same time. Um, anytime I pour, but especially on these trays, because again, you only have just so many tries um, before you mess up. So, all right, here we go. Let's dump our, flip our cup. And I like to go back over and let the drippings kind of fall into that. Um, it kind of helps make almost like a marbled look a little bit. Let me set my cup there. All oh, these colors are pretty. I hope y'all can see them well. I'll give it a quick little torch. I just mixed up these paints uh, about an hour ago. So we're gonna we're gonna have some air bubbles. All right. All right. Let's start. See what design we can come up with. I love that silver in there. That blue is really pretty. And I probably put a little bit more paint than I actually needed, but it's okay. As long as I still have room to resin, which I will. Just take your time. You want to go all the way to the edges without pushing the paint way up the edge because you don't want to see paint up the edge that is higher than what's in the bottom. I'm going to bring some of my silver back because I don't want to lose all that silver. This one is very, very, very soft and light in color. And again, just take your time and let that paint roll around to the edges. Oh, it's so pretty. I am so excited about giving these. I don't know about you guys, but I love, love giving homemade gifts. Um, I just lost my mom in November, and she was the most incredibly talented human being I've ever known in my life. And the things that she has made for me over the years, there's not an item in any store that I would take over those. I absolutely cherish everything that my mom ever made me. So these um, first three trays that I'm doing are for my, my kids. And I just can only hope and pray that they love the things that I make for them as much as I love the things my mom made for me. Okay. This one did not take a lot of fiddling because the colors are so beautiful. I'm going to give it one more little torch so I see a couple of air bubbles. Oh, I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if I can bring it up. I'm so sorry about that ring light, but look how soft those colors are. Are they not gorgeous? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, sticking it out. There will be um, a follow-up video to this. I will show you the resining process. I'm going to use silver leaf on this one, of course, instead of gold leaf. Um, and I may or may not get the nerve 
to do some initials in the in the middle with the silver leaf. So please keep checking my channel, stick with me, and we can watch this process to the end with me. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing the comments. I am so new to this. Um, there are so many huge, amazing, talented artists out there. So I know my little tiny piddly channel is going to take a while to catch on. Um, but for those that are watching it, I love you already. And I'm so appreciative of you being here. So thank you so much again. Please go follow Anna Cohen. I will put her channel in the description um, and go see the beautiful tree.